JavaScript string functions in five minutes. In this video, let's talk about the substring method. What's up, everyone? My name is James C. Quick, and I do weekly videos about web development related topics, including a lot of JavaScript fundamentals. And this is the first video in a series on JavaScript strings. I've done a series on JavaScript arrays, if you want to check that out. And in this one, we're going to cover the most popular methods associated with strings in JavaScript, which in this case is the substring method. One thing to note is I will have a repository with all of these kind of challenges or templates or worksheets that you can go and follow through. So I will upload these to GitHub after this video and then give a link to you so you can go and check out all the different challenges and follow along yourself. So make sure to check that out. But let's go ahead and get started. So I've got uh, in here a few different uh, challenges that we're gonna do with a couple of different strings. So in this, uh, in this first one, we've got a string name equals James Quick. And I wanna work on getting the first name, the last name, the first two letters of the first name, the last two letters of the last name in two different ways that I'll show you here in a second. The last thing to note is that I'm using the Quokka extension inside of VS Code, which is going to give us some live preview of these things inside of uh, our editor. So you can see here it logs out James Q quick. So let's go and uh, look at W3 schools first for the JavaScript uh, string substring function. It takes two parameters. So you have your string, you call substring with two parameters. The first is the start and the second is the end. Uh, these are zero based indexes. So if we want the first name, we would have to do uh, name dot sub string, and then we'll start at zero index, not nine, but zero. And then we'll go all the way up to five, for example. Now to uh, make sure we can see this value and see if it's correct, we'll do this. So notice this is uh, two five. So if we start at uh, the zero here, and then we go uh, one, two, three, four, it doesn't look like it goes all the way up to five. Well, this is non-inclusive, so it's gonna take uh, whatever index that is and grab up until that index, so it's zero through four. So there is a substring of uh, zero through five for the first name, and then uh, I've got a snippet for console log, so we'll do this again, name.substring, and then we'll say uh, maybe six to uh, 10, we'll look at that, that's almost right, it's actually gonna be uh, six to 11 to make sure we get again, because this is non-inclusive uh, right here. So it's gonna go from index six to 10. Uh, if we were to start it at five, we would grab that space. It's hard to really tell, but we would be grabbing the space in here. So those spaces actually count for these different characters. So this would be six through 11. Now, another thing we can do, if we uh, do the same thing, but get rid of the end, if we just give a start number, it's gonna by default go all the way to the end. So this is going to inherently go from six to the length of the string and then uh, non-inclusive of that. So it'll go all the way to the end. All right, so what if we wanted the first two letters of the first name? Well, we could uh, console log and then name dot sub string. And in this case, we'll just do zero two. Now you see this a lot on uh, like my username at Microsoft when I worked there was J-A quick. So I'll take the first two letters of the first name and then the entire last name. So you could use that for stuff like that. Now, interesting, uh, get to the last two letters of the last name is a little bit different. So uh, we can do console log in here and we'll say uh, name dot substring. Now, where do we wanna start? Well, we could count this off and we could go uh, just nine in here. So that would work, uh, but we probably wanna do a little bit better job of uh, programmatically figuring this out if we're not hard coding. So we could hard code it to nine. We could also do it to name.length minus two. So that'll do the same thing. Okay, so that would be our way of kind of counting back from the end backwards. So you'd have to use your length and then count back as many as you want. So this could be negative two, negative five, et cetera, whatever you want it to be. Uh, so that would be another way to get the last name. Now you may think you could just put in here a negative number, uh, so negative two, uh, but in this case, it doesn't actually work that way. And you look at the documentation, if start is less than zero, it will just start from index zero. So this is the equivalent of just starting at uh, zero and then going all the way through. So that's not what we'd want in this case. Um, okay, so then let's do, uh, let's say we have a name and age uh, variable, uh, a string here. So what if we just wanted the full name? Well, we could uh, do, let's do our console log and name.substring. We could say we want zero to 11, that will get it again, uh, but we could be a little bit more intelligent by using another string function, uh, which is the uh, dash index. So we'll call this dash index. Actually, the function is not called that. We'll see it in a second. But we can use name.index 
of and get the index of the dash character. Uh, so this should give us, uh, let's log this dash index, dash index, let's log it out. And this dash index is negative one, is that not in? Oh, this is name and age. Uh, and then this one should be name and age as well, since we've moved on. So the index of the dash is 11, and we could then use that variable to uh, console log again. We'll take name and age, and we'll call substring and pass in the dash index. But actually, we want to go from zero to the dash index. So we would want to start uh, zero up until dash index, which would give us James Q quick. And then the opposite of this uh, would be the age. So if we wanted to uh, grab just the age, we could do something very similar. So we'll take our name and age variable, we'll call substring. And then we want to start at the dash index. So dash index. And then uh, this shows negative 31. So we wanna just move past the dash so we can do uh, plus one in here. This will just move it one uh, to the right. So that's a few different ways to use the substring method. It takes two parameters, although you can just pass it one if you want. Uh, you can do negatives, but it doesn't do exactly what you think. If you want to count backwards, you would start at the length of the string and then do a negative. And the last thing I'll share is for people that have more experience with JavaScript, uh, you probably are already familiar with the split function, which would allow you to split up these uh, phrases by a certain character and convert them to an array. So we wouldn't have to hard code these strings. Uh, we'll do that in another video. Uh, so if you've never seen string split before, we'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, but this is the example for uh, substrings. If you have any questions with this method in JavaScript with strings, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to check out the GitHub repository and follow along with the challenge. If you enjoy the video, do all the things like subscribe, comment below, basic stuff. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.